happy Sunday. So we're getting ready to go to the pool. I just finished doing a couple errands, did a little quick workout, and my pool bag is always packed. I am somebody that like as soon as I finish up at the pool, we like, you know, I wash my towels or use different towels and I go ahead and stock my bag again because we actually have a pool in our neighborhood. So we frequently go to the pool and I like to be able to just like grab the bag and go just because I have a 10 month old and anybody with a baby knows that it takes twice as long to do absolutely anything. So if you pack ahead of time, it makes life so much easier. So my bag is already packed, ready to go. I'm going to quickly go through just what I take. It's simple things, but sometimes, you know, it's like, oh, I didn't think about doing that or, oh, she does this differently. So it makes my life easier. So hopefully there's a few tips and tricks in here that makes your pool experience a little bit better. I have a different video that goes over going to the pool for like a whole day. Um, our pool, like I said, is in our neighborhood. And sometimes we'll go and spend like an entire Saturday or an entire Sunday there. And I go into details about like if you take your kid and it's like baby that's like napping or things like that things that make it easier like I take like a sound machine and I take like a fan and I have like a little blanket that goes over his stroller and all this stuff so he could actually nap at the pool and it actually works out really well it sounds like a lot but if you set it up it actually makes life so much easier and you can have some downtime while your kiddo takes a nap so I have a video that goes into a lot more detail about like a full day at the pool this is more of just if we go for a few hours I just grab this one single bag I take it and we're good to go. So most importantly, well, let's do this one first. Most importantly, we know you got to take sunscreen. So I actually take two different sunscreens. I take, or three different sunscreens. I take two for my son and then I take one for me and my husband. You want to make sure with sunscreens, you have sunscreens that you like and you tolerate because you're going to be more likely to use them and you don't want to get a sunburn because then that just ruins summer and everything. For my son, I have one that's a spray and one that's a cream. I like them in different situations. He does not have a lot of hair, so this is really good to spray on his scalp, but creams always coat better than what sprays do, so I don't like to rely on this elsewhere. Another trick is you want to make sure that you put your sunscreen on at home before you go to the pool. That way you make sure everything's evenly coated. You're not already at the pool. You're hot. You're sweaty. You're trying to get everything situated. And then you forget to put your sunscreen on. Again, you don't want to get sunburned. That's no fun. So make sure you're wearing your sunscreen. Don't forget to reapply to. Most sunscreens last like an hour, two hours tops. So just make sure that you are being safe. Sun hats, you know, the long sleeve SPF shirts, all of that is super fun to, not super fun. All of that is super helpful as well, especially with the kiddos. You want to make sure they're wearing a hat and make sure they're covered. Protect their precious skin. So obviously you need beach towels. I personally like to take three different beach towels. I take one for me, my husband, and then my son. Depending on what we're doing that day, sometimes we will actually sit on the beach chairs, but a lot of times we end up meeting friends at the pool and we actually just have like an area. So our pool is one of those where like you walk in and you get your pool and you have like the cemented area like around it. And then there's also like a grassy area. And a lot of times I actually prefer to sit at the grassy area because I have one of those like water resistant picnic blankets and we put that down and that way we all just have some where to like lay and like my son has somewhere to play so that's what we usually end up doing so our towels really just go back to just keeping us dry they don't necessarily like we're not putting them on chairs or anything like that if you do put them on chairs those little beach chair clip things are actually really really nice and they keep your towel from blowing away so those are things I would invest in I have those but those are in my beach bag I don't take them to the pool regularly because usually we're just sitting on the ground snacks are key so i'm somebody that always has snacks on me goldfish you can 100 percent see that this is our goldfish bag if you can appreciate the wrinkled it's probably because it's been wet and now it's dry again again my son's 10 months old so he could care less if he's eating soggy goldfish they're not that gross i promise but goldfish key it's nice because he can pick them up eat them one by one usually i will put the goldfish in one of these little containers my mother-in-law got this for him and it is adorable one of the biggest things about this is, is that it also doubles as a toy because it shakes and it's exciting and it pops open and it has that little protective lid inside. So they have to like stick their hand in there to get them out. So I would highly suggest investing in one of these little containers. Again, works as a container, but also works as a toy. So it's a two for one, especially when you're trying to take like limited things to the pool. You can get them little snacks and they can play with it. Makes life so much easier. I also take... A little bit more food we normally like I said we'll go for a few hours and my son likes to eat <laughs> so I like to make sure that I always have snacks I take these little wafers these little they are called like organic apple rice 
or rice rusks and they have them in different flavors and all the different flavors he absolutely loves i'm like yet to meet one that he doesn't like they're nice because they're two big wafer sticks so they're really easy for him to hold i usually also take some kind of like applesauce packet and then obviously a spoon to eat that with and that usually covers us while we're there our pool is super nice it has like um concession stands so we can actually order like chicken tenders or something like that if we're going to be there for longer i'll usually order him food at some point in time but i like to take these snacks so he has those on board and it also just gives him something to do you know kids can only play outside for so long and he plays with like toys and his like snacks and all this stuff so it just it's one of those things that just takes up time these bags i highly recommend they're wet dry bags i've talked about them in a lot of different videos they have two different pockets a big one at the top and they have one on the front the front is where i keep his snacks and then in this part i keep his diapers a changing pad and then um, wipes so you got to make sure that you take swim diapers and then regular diapers one of the big things about swim diapers that i did not know until somebody told me it makes sense but i didn't know about it they only contain poop so if they pee a lot you need to make sure that your kid's in a regular diaper because you don't want to put a swim diaper on your kid put them in their car seat if you're driving in the car these will absorb a little but not a lot so you got to make sure depending on how long your drive is you've got to play that game do i go ahead and put the swim diaper on them now or do i wait till i get to the pool i personally like to put a regular diaper on them i put no trunks on them and then once we get there then i switch them over to a swim diaper and put their trunks on funny story last time i went to the pool my husband and i completely forgot that he had on a regular diaper we got him in the pool and his butt like poof, like it is hilarious like we finally saw what a diaper at like maximum capacity would be and it is huge like it was i swear the thing weighed like 10 pounds it was insane so diapers are extremely absorbent i know we know that already but if you want a good laugh put your kid in the pool while wearing a regular diaper and watch their butt just explode it's hilarious but I take regular diapers, I take <laughs> swim diapers, and then I also just take a big bag of wipes. I normally have wipes with me all the time. I feel like that's just like rite of passage as a mom. You just like always have wipes on you. It's just like, oh yeah, here's a wipe. Like it's just, it, it happens. I also take a sippy cup and then obviously we have a little travel lid on here. I make sure that I fill this up before we leave. Again, we go to the pool that has a concession so we can fill it back up as much as we need to. I am somebody that is very cautious about heat exhaustion and just dehydration. So you want to make sure that if you're having fun outside, especially if it's really hot, you're going to make sure that you, you know, have a shaded area. You make sure you dip them off in the, or dip them in the pool and make sure you cool them off and make sure they're drinking tons of water just because again, you don't want them to get heat exhaustion or just get like dehydrated in general. Obviously you're going to the pool. You need pool toys. So sand toys are actually what we do a lot. Obviously they're waterproof. My son loves anything that he can hold and smack people with. We are at a point now to where you have to be careful because he will straight up smack you in the face with something. He loves spoons, anything that he can hold and swing around. So these actually keep him occupied for a while. A little pail. Are these called a pail? Watering tin? whatever you want to call this, loves this because you can put water in it. And then you can also, obviously it pours out and it makes like a little stream and he plays in the little stream. Our pool has a little kitty pool and he has a ball just dipping it in it and then pouring it out. Obviously he's not doing it intentionally, I don't think, because he's too young, but he just enjoys like playing with little water as it comes out. I have learned that you don't need a ton of toys at the pool. That's the nice thing about the pool. There's usually something there to occupy them. I would suggest getting rings. So this is something that I did not think about at all. We were at the pool and there was a like cutest little girl playing in the kiddie pool. She was older than our son, but she came over and she was like throwing these and she asked if he wanted to play with them. And I was just like, oh, like he's not going to play with those. Like he's too young. And they're nice because they don't sink. They're like kind of floaty. And he did. He like picked them up and he was like playing with them and stuff. So he actually ended up playing with them for like probably 30 or 40 minutes like it was a long time and if you have babies you know it takes a lot to entertain them for that long and these little guys did the trick and they're nice i got them on amazon they came in a pack of eight they weren't expensive i'll link them below but it's nice because they're not dive rings they're pool rings i think is what they were called and they're just like a little like flimsy like it was like a little rubber and again it was easy because he could like put his arm through it and he could play on it and chew on it it's rubber so Highly suggest Hanky taking a few rings. It really kept my son occupied for a while, actually. 
So I think that's everything that I take in my pool bag. Obviously, a lot of this stuff's a no-brainer, but some things, it's just nice. I like watching videos to see, like, what do you take in your pool bag? Um, oh, one thing I do take that's not in here right now because I need a new one is chapstick. I take a chapstick that has an SPF in it. Again, you got to make sure that you protect your skin, lips included. I also always wear a hat. Um... I think that's everything. So hopefully this video will make your pool trip just a little bit easier and it may make you think of something to take that you didn't think of before or you just enjoyed seeing what's in my pool bag. I also love my pool bag. It's like massive and it's just like open. There's the pool rings but it's nice because it has a long strap and a shorter strap on it. So if you want a pool bag, actually I can't even link this one because I got it so long ago. I think I got it. I think I got it on Amazon though. If I can find it, I'll link it. But have a good pool day.